as society becomes more and more urban, we, we're kind of losing touch with the outdoors. Uh, we got people moving off the land, farm sizes are getting much bigger, so there's less people living in the rural communities. Um, so I think we're kind of having a disconnect between Mother Nature and, and ourselves being urbanites. We are facing this massive extinction of wildlife, which is a, uh, is a, is a, is a hurricane uh, mounting and building upon not only human experience, but human opportunity on this planet. We are currently in one of the great extinction crises uh, of world history, geological history. And we are facing uh, losses economically, spiritually, culturally, emotionally, uh, and from a food acquisition point of view that will carry great long-term implications for the future of humanity as well as for the future of wildlife. We have to educate everyone because oftentimes it's, uh, it's people who know nothing about wildlife that will exert the biggest impact on the habitats that wildlife depend upon. We grieve for what we know, planning for the future, embracing climate change and the causes for it that uh, realistically, if, if a greater percentage of the population over time does not embrace that, then uh, then we're in tough shape as humanity because we just have one world. Wildlife matter to me because they're such a great symbol of why natural systems and functioning ecosystems are so important. Well, people may not understand the ecology of, of wildlife, they see wildlife all the time and so it's, it's a gateway to, to engaging uh, the public in, in really appreciating the environment and why a healthy functioning ecosystem uh, really makes life better, it improves the quality of life for all of us and so I think wildlife can be that, um, that piece that we use to attract the public in and get them to understand uh, why uh, managing how we live and care for the earth and, and integrate with uh, the activities that affect the ecosystem are so important. I think wildlife is a part of my soul. <laughs> um, ever since I was a little kid, I've uh, experienced the wonder of wildlife. I have had a connection to wildlife. It uh, brings me joy. I am curious about it. I want to preserve it. I want uh, my granddaughter to be able to see wildlife. I think, you know, we as humans have a connection to wildlife, and I think it's, it's something very innate and primal with us. I think wildlife enriches our lives and makes people uh, have an appreciation of something greater than themselves and um, that it's pretty consistent for people everywhere around the world and whatever kind of wildlife is in their environment and that wildlife matters because it brings uh, a great appreciation to us, but it's also something that exists here that we have a responsibility, I think, to make sure that it's around and safe. It's finding that passion for the outdoors, and I know that I have seen it in the eyes of my students and, and their spirits as they come through the wildlife degrees that I've been in par part of, that really is rewarding for me. We, Japanese, believe the nature is a part of us, the wildlife is a part of our, part of us, so it's just, you know, it's a part of our systems, right? In humans, it's not the, the separate from the wildlife, we are just being part of biodiversity. That's why wildlife is always important to us. One of the things that's so meaningful about wildlife is that they represent sort of what came before and what will be here after. Um, and there's so much capacity and interest within the biodiversity of wildlife that I find so inspiring. Interesting creatures have interesting adaptations and survive some of the harshest environments on earth and are really well uh, positioned to sort of be here before us and, and continue on after us.
A walleye matters to me because it's kind of like watching the weather channel and the barometer. Uh, to me, having wildlife in one's life is important. Uh, whether you hunt or fish or like bird watching, it's just knowing that if the wildlife, if fish and wildlife populations are healthy, uh, that the environment is doing okay. So I just think it's very uh, paramount of paramount importance for us to uh, appreciate the, the health of wildlife populations. And having them for the future, uh, for future generations, is what we should all strive for. When I came into this profession, there weren't women in it. So it was kind of tough in the beginning being the odd one out. But as women started coming in, I've worked with them to try to create a, a little smoother path for women coming behind us and to encourage women to come into this profession. I feel that there's currently a very big gap in between science and the public and I really want to help mend that gap so that you know normal everyday people that are not in higher education or researchers could really understand what we're doing and why wildlife management is important. Truly being out in nature is just one of the most amazing things that you could do and once you do that you realize how important wildlife is just to everything. I mean it's just the heart and soul of everything. I, I remember my dad, we I grew up on a you know, small farm, very poor farm, and that was the times when you would get uh, uh, the Montgomery Ward catalog, you know, it, which you probably aren't aware of. But that we, we, it was, you know, Montgomery Wards and Sears Roebuck, these big catalogs, would come, they used to call them wish books, and they'd come in the mail, and you could order, you know, the, pre-Amazon days, but it, you know, or they would have stores where you, you know, and, and you could go and find stuff. Well, I can remember sitting on my father's lap while he was going through this, and they, he opened up the page where they, they were selling uh, traps. And they had drawings of, of raccoon and mink and fox all around that. And I, I, I was probably four years old, I don't know. And I was, oh, oh, wouldn't it be great to see those? animals. Yeah. Wildlife matter I think to me in a, in a pers personal perspective because to me they are, they are a, uh, a barometer of uh, society in the world that we live in. Um, how well we take care of wildlife, um, how much effort we put into preserving uh, wildlife I think is a reflection of our social values and a reflection of our society as a whole and the things that uh, that uh, that people have come to to live for um, and to cherish. Black bears are probably my favorite animal though. I studied bears and, and for six years and still I'm interested in them. Still I'm an editor for one of the journals that deals with bear research. Um, they're just amazing critters, incredibly powerful, incredibly tolerant, incredibly adaptable, uh, have amazing physiology that allows them to do things that humans can't even dream of doing. Wildlife are just ingrained as something I really care about and they're just kind of part of who I am and I hope they can be part of the world to come. Uh, I think we have to be uh, consistent in our message, you know, and what we deliver to the public and how we manage these landscapes. Uh, it's pretty important to have all of us biologists kind of working down the same path. You have to be able to relate with farmers and ranchers and those types of things in order to get accomplished what you want on the, on the land. I think my advice to a young professional interested in the field of wildlife is as much as we want to learn about specific animals or specific ecosystems and the habitats that are important to wildlife, learning about people is, is so essential to be effective in a job as, as a wildlife professional because having all of the knowledge about animals is great, but if you can't communicate why it's important, we as, as humans on the earth um, know how our activities affect wildlife and how we can actually modify what we do to improve conditions for wildlife, then all of that knowledge really won't uh, be used to its best ad advantage. So I would say really um, force yourself to become a people person uh, and learn about how to communicate well. As a boy, my future was shaped by my experiences in a very rural setting with animals. And I have come to view them as essentially no different than human beings. They are simply an other kind of life form on the planet. And I think if we cannot understand them, 
we will fail to understand ourselves. What's the future of wildlife going to depend on? The situations, the problems, the picture is much bigger than any one discipline. We have to join forces with people from other disciplines, not just the physical, biological sciences, but the social sciences and the economic field um, to get our arms around these very complex problems. It takes teams of people with different specialties, different ways of looking at problems, different backgrounds uh, to creatively approach these problems. Wildlife, like us, are dependent on the same ecosystems and we have strong connections between us. We're all in this together. Let's give it all we've got We've only got one world We've only got one life to live It's work as one To make a difference Let's sustainably Are you with me?